Hello, Matthews Gatos here. In this video, we're going to look at imperial measures of length. So those are things like inches, feet, pounds, gallons. This is a system of weights and measures that was originally developed in England, but to date, only three countries use imperial units. So let's look at some examples. Now, imperial units are based on reference. And what a referent is, is it's a way of visualizing what a, re a measurement is. So for example, inches. Inches we can denote with the word IN or with these two little tick marks. If you look at your finger from the tip of your thumb to the knuckle, that's about an inch. A foot, well, a foot is used by FT or just one little tick mark. And that's really just the length of an average foot, or if you think like me, a subway foot long sandwich. A yard, that's if you spread your arms out as far as they can go from the tip of your middle finger on one hand to the tip of your middle finger on the other, that's about a yard. And a mile, that's about the distance that you can walk in 20 minutes. So imperial units all based on reference, but we do have some conversion statements that help us. So these are all on your formula sheet. We have feet to inches, yards to feet, miles to feet, and miles to yards. These conversion statements are gonna help us convert between the various measurements. So let's look at an example. Here I wanna convert yards to feet. So I go on to my conversion statements, my formula sheet, and I look where I have yards and feet. And I start just by writing out that conversion statement. And then I look at what I'm given. I'm given three yards and I wanna know how many feet. So I line up my yards and I line up my feet. Everything lines up vertically. And then all I have to do is cross multiply and divide. So cross multiply and divide. So three times three divided by one will equal to X. Well, three times three is nine divided by one is nine. So X is equal to nine, which means that three yards is the same as nine feet. Let's try another one, miles to yards. So look on our formula sheet, here is miles and feet. Ah, but here is miles and yards. So start with my conversion statement. One mile is 1,760 yards. And right underneath that, I'm going to write 1.5 miles is equal to X, because that's what we want is how many yards. So again, I am going to cross multiply and divide. So 1.5 multiplied by 1,760 divided by 1 will give me my x value. So then I just have to simply put this into my calculator and I get 2,640 equals x, which means that 1.5 miles is the same as 2,640 yards. Okay, let's try one where we're filling up multiple categories. For example here, 38 inches. I wanna convert that to feet and inches. So firstly, I know that one foot is the same as 12 inches. So I wanna see how many inches. I wanna fill it up all the way that I can, as full as I can. So 38 inches is equal to how many feet and how many inches left over. So you can use a conversion statement or you can just look at how many inches can I put in there. So I can put in there 12, I could put another 12, which is 24, and one more 12 altogether would be 36. So 36 inches, that would be one, two, three feet. So I know three feet. And then what's left over? Well, there's 36 inches that we've spent or put in that category. 38 minus the 36 I started with, I have two inches left over. So start always by filling up the biggest unit or the biggest category. Let's try another one. If I have 42 inches, I wanna fill that up into yards, feet, and inches. Now, on my conversion statement here, I know that one yard is the same as three feet, but I don't have anything for inches. But let's use what we know about feet. I know that one foot is 12 inches, so three feet, would be 3 times 12, which is 36 inches. So we can use that as our uh, to help us with our conversion statement. So if I have 42 inches, for sure I can put in 36 inches. I've got some fun little writing going on here. Let's get rid of that. 
Okay, so for sure I can put in 36 inches, so I can have one yard. Now I have 42 take away 36, means I'm left with 6 inches. Well, I need 12 inches for a foot, so I don't have any feet there. So my remaining 6 inches is going to go in my last category. So 42 inches is 1 yard, 0 feet, and 6 inches. So again, I want to fill each category to the maximum amount, the biggest category first, before I move on to the other categories. So this is an introduction to imperial units, and I just have a question for you. Why are snakes only measured in inches? Well, the answer is simply because they don't have any feet. So I hope this video helped, and I look forward to seeing you for the next one.